Hi, welcome to Arlington's Community Update. Today I'm here with Sarah Gupta of Arlington Eats. Thank you for coming out to meet us today. It's Thank great you for to being here. It's really nice to be a part of it. Yeah, so um, first I'm going to have you introduce yourself. Tell okay. us how long you've been with the organization. Okay. So my name is Sarah Gupta, and I am the program manager of school-based services for Arlington Eats. Arlington Eats um, has been in existence as Arlington Eats since 2014, but in 2016 we merged with the Arlington Food Pantry, which has been in existence for over 20 years and are now one big organization under the name Arlington Eats, working to address food insecurity here in Arlington. Awesome, great. Um, and tell us about um, the weekly services of Arlington Eats. When does um, when do you meet? When where are you meeting? Wonderful. Yeah, we are in one of the main features of the Arlington Eats programming weekly. Wednesday mornings and Wednesday evenings is a market that's available for anyone in Arlington that is experiencing food insecurity. They just have to demonstrate proof of residency. That's all we look for. Um, we also, through the schools, offer snack programs at all the schools within Arlington. We offer vacation lunches on both the February, April, and summer vacations for students that might be getting free and reduced lunch through the school year but then don't have access to that when school's out. So we provide that service as well uh, and a number of other things in the community. Yeah. Excellent. And so right now we are here at the St. John's Church, um, which how long have you been setting up shop here? That's pretty recent. I think it just past summer was when we kind of made the official transition. Um, and that is because where we were on Broadway is getting... Um, I guess you would call renovated to become a new commercial slash residential space where we will actually have a beautiful new Arlington Eats market hopefully within the next couple of years. But in the meantime, St. John's has graciously shared space with us so we can keep operating the market. All right, well that's very exciting. Um, so I've heard that you have an event every year called Beats for Eats. Do you want to tell us a little bit about that? Absolutely. Beats for Eats is um, one of our major venues or events for raising funds to support our programs. It's every year in March and this year it's on March 28th at the Town Hall and it's a lot of fun. There's like a very um, full and splendid silent auction. We have live music that will really always gets people moving. There's always dancing at Beats for Eats and um, and great food and talk and company. It's, it's a wonderful way to kind of get together and celebrate and also raise money for the cause. Yeah, that sounds like a lot of fun. So March 28th next year, if you're looking to have some fun at Town Hall, get some money going for Arlington Eats, that's something to keep in mind. And if people want to volunteer with your organization, how can people get involved? So the best way would be to go to our website. It's www.arlingtoneats, all one word, dot org. And right when you get to the web page, the face page, home page it tells you are you looking to do this or this and one of the options very clearly is volunteer yeah so that would be a real simple way to get it and if you um, don't have access to internet or online certainly feel free to call us at our office and we're happy to share opportunities with you as well and what are some of the options for volunteering? We have weekly um, markets, obviously morning and evening, so there's assistance needed with setting up and, and monitoring and kind of making markets flow and cleaning up afterwards. We have Greater Boston Food Bank deliveries every other Monday, so that's a lot of unloading boxes and kind of getting stock put away. There is um, set up for the markets on Tuesdays where people are kind of coming in and getting everything set up, and we also accept donations on Tuesdays, so we're getting boxes and bags of food that we have to go through and check expiration dates and kind of sort and shelf. And then for the school-based programs, there is um, obviously the vacation lunches where we need people to help with serving and prepping and kind of keeping things flowing and set up and clean up. And then with the school-based programs and the snack program, we have weekly groups where people can come together and help pack the snacks that we provide within that program. Great, awesome. Yeah. So anyone who's looking to give back to Arlington, this is a great organization to work with. Um, you know, I'm sure we all have some food in our pantry that we haven't used. So even if it's just donating a few things, it would certainly help them out. And what is the best way for the town of Arlington to get in contact with Arlington Eats? I think our new and very um, lovely and full uh, website is a good place to interface about, about our services and about getting involved. So that's www. 
arlingtoneatsalloneword.org and our office number is 339-707-6757. All right, great. Well, that's all the questions I have for you today. Thank you for all that information. It was great to meet with you. Great to hear about your organization. And um, hopefully we have some more people coming in to help out because it sounds like you got a lot on your hands, but it's good work and we really appreciate you helping us talk about it in the community. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so anyone who's looking to get involved with Arlington Eats, you can find them at their website and hopefully we'll see you guys around.